Hi and welcome to Taronga Zoo. My name's Hayden, this is Rebecca and we're really lucky to have some of Rebecca's precious time here to tell us all about our Western Lowland Gorillas. Beck, how many have we got in the exhibit? So we have eight Western Lowland Gorillas here at Taronga. Um, they live in a harem group. Um, a harem is basically a singular adult male living with multiple uh, females and of course their offspring. Um, and so our silverback male, his name is Kabali um, and he is 19 years of age um, and he leads the group. He's just up the back there. Yeah. Um, and yeah, he's quite a young silverback. They come into maturity roughly around their early 20s. Okay, what would he weigh? Just to give people a little bit of an indication. So you might have seen on TV recently that he had a health check up at our vet block yeah. um, and he weighed 170 kilos at that time. So. The other females in here have got offspring as well, haven't they? Yes. What's our youngest one? So our youngest is Fakiri um, and she's seven months old at the moment um, and that's Frala's infant. What would they be eating in here that's different to the wild? So they roughly get per day here um, over 30 kilos of food um, and that consists of fruits um, and vegetables so they are strictly vegetarian even though they weigh can weigh up to you know 200 kilos um, they yeah strictly vegetarians. Wow 30 kilos of food a day? Yep, over 30 kilos. Incredible. Yeah. Now you have seen something quite incredible I in have. this spot that I yep. don't think many other people on the planet have ever seen before. Yep. Can you talk us tell us about that? Yeah so I was very fortunate um, that I got to watch the birth of uh, Mwamba who is now two and a half years of age um, and that happened just in their night house back there. Um, I was right place right time um, and was able to catch a glimpse of the whole birth which was incredible it was amazing. So those sorts of things you only find out when you talk to keepers folks so stay tuned keep up to date with us we're going to have a lot more offerings coming our way you never know what's around the next corner we'll see you next time. See ya. And Bailey, she always carries her brows like that. And Mwamba and MJ have learnt to do that. It's like a learnt behaviour. Yeah, right. It's so crazy. She always does that. So her whole family, they always carry their brows on their back and like That's walk around the exhibit. And so MJ does it now and Mwamba does it. But like Fabumi, who's Frala's infant, doesn't do it. It's like such a learnt like behaviour. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Has that been noticed in the wild of animals doing that? I guess so. It'll be a cultural yeah. thing, like chimps. There's culture in chimp yeah. groups, uh, so yeah. chimp communities and stuff. So Some really, really uh, yeah. important food source that they love so much. Yeah. yeah very interesting. Yeah. So they freeze up their hands and they just carry it on their back. That is so great. Yeah. So how many times would you give them brows a day? They get it usually every feed, but we get two big bins worth every single day. Yeah. So I don't know what the weight of that would be, but that's like on top of the 30 kilos of food. And lots of different species of, of yeah. browse? Yeah, which I give them three different species a day. Okay. Yeah. And I think for people listening, uh, they don't know what browse means sometimes. It's yeah. a term that we use, isn't yeah. it? That yeah. it means foliage basically. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So leaves and the bark as well and branches. So they eat the whole thing, they'll strip the bark. Um, eat all the leaves um, and then they'll actually use those sticks um, in enrichment items. So you can see and Bailey's got half a stripped uh, stick, so we'll now use that to dip inside one of our enrichment items and get out some food as well. And that's that way. a great display of tool use, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Fantastic. They're amazing.